powerful LED lighting, dimmable T5s, even distribution, and a stylish and modern look. Hmm, got your attention now? Hello, this is Carlos welcoming you back to another episode of CVTV. Today we will go over the Giesemann's Elite fixture, the Aurora. We will cover what makes this the very best all-in-one lighting fixture for reef aquariums. How to install and operate the fixture using a computer or mobile device. The Aurora is an advanced lighting fixture boasting both LED and T5s for the ultimate in aquatic lighting and wireless control via Bluetooth. This fixture greatly reduces the risk of localized bleaching under high intensity focal points. Corals under the Aurora are literally bathed in light from a wide range of overlapping angles and multiple light sources to promote optimum health and color across the entire colony. The Aurora fixture features a stylish corrosion resistant body, a tough twin layer power coated iridium finish, fully dimmable T5 lamps, five fully controllable LED channels, cloud, storm, and real-time lunar simulations, a multi-point daytime plot system, low noise variable speed cooling fans. The Aurora is available in five models ranging from 24 inches to 72. Before we install the fixtures over our tank, there are a couple of safety guidelines that we must take into consideration. The Aurora is a fairly heavy fixture, so proper mounting is crucial. The Aurora and its power supply unit are not waterproof. Be sure to mount the power supply away from the water in high humidity environments with proper drip loops and ventilation. Each Aurora fixture comes with a suspension kit for easy variable height adjustments and appeal. Although not included with the fixture, the Aurora can also be mounted onto the tank with a stylish mount. Please make sure that your aquarium can sustain the full weight of the fixture. Now that we've covered how to mount the fixture as well as safety guidelines, let's go ahead and install the T5 lamps. When choosing your T5 bulb, it is crucial to select a bulb that is capable of being dimmed on a daily basis. For that reason, we highly recommend using Giesemann T5 bulbs only. Not only do they produce optimal light coloration and PAR values, but they have also been formulated specifically to be dimmed on a regular basis without affecting its lifespan or spectrum. Inserting the T5 bulbs should only be performed with the light that's mounted from over the aquarium and placed on a scratch-free surface. Make sure that the fixture is unplugged from the power source. Remove the end plate of the fixture by loosening the screws with the included Allen key. Now, let's remove the splash shields with the two mirror end covers. The tubes and the contacts are to be pushed into the socket evenly. If necessary, exert a slight pressure in order to press both the movable socket against the springs. After inserting the tubes, rotate them 90 degrees until they lock in. Slide the splash shield back into the rail of the fixture. Insert the mirror end covers on each end of the fixture by bending them ever slightly. Before we proceed to attach the end plate, test the fixture to ensure that all T5 bulbs have been correctly installed. Attach the end plate. After supplying power, the lamp will start automatically. Your Aurora is now ready for use. Now that we have completed all hardware installation, you're now probably wondering how to configure and run this awesome light. Well, we have put this quick guide together for you to facilitate the process and make it as seamless as possible. The Aurora uses software to produce realistic sunrise sunset effects, fully programmable day cycle light scenarios, cloud transitions and real-time moonlight simulations, and other programming features you would expect from an elite light fixture. For programming, a Windows PC, Mac, or Android mobile device with a Bluetooth interface is required but not included. If you're using an Android device, you can search the Google Play Store for Giesemann Aurora and download the software application to your phone. For our video today, we'll head over to CoralView.com and download the Mac version of the application. Per Giesemann's instructions, if you're using something other than an Android device, you must download, install, and use the Futura software to operate the Aurora fixture. Let's go ahead and open the Futura program. Once opened, click on Connect. 
the application will automatically open your computer's Bluetooth settings window and will search for available fixtures. This process may take a few seconds, so please be patient. Once you see the Aurora LED T5 fixture listed, click on Pair. At this time, your computer will connect to your fixture. Since this is the first time connecting your Aurora to your Bluetooth device, you will also be prompted for a passcode. The passcode is the last eight digits of your Aurora's serial number, which can be found on the side of the fixture. Once you key in the passcode, your Aurora will be paired with your computer. You only need to key the passcode once to connect your fixture. Now, let's go ahead and update the fixture's clock. You do this by clicking on the Info button and then click on Change right next to the Time Date field. Once the time has been updated, we can start programming. The software allows you to program your fixture in two different modes, manual and automatic. Manual means you set the intensity of each individual T5 and LED channel, and it will run these intensities 24-7. Automatic means that you can create a 24-hour schedule for the fixture to run. To manually configure the fixture to run the same intensity 24-7, click on Color Mixer. Here you can set the intensity of each individual channel. Now, since we're using the Futura software to control an Aurora, channel 1 and 2 will control the two T5 channels, and then channels 3, 4, and 5 will control the five different LED channels on the fixture. You can control the intensity by just dragging the dot horizontally along the channel bar. As you make adjustments on the software, you will be able to see the changes on the fixture in real time. Once you have achieved the color mix you were looking for, you can go ahead and close the app. Remember that the manual mode does not have any type of scheduling. Whatever you set the lights to be, that is how the fixture will remain 24-7. Now, most of us do not want our lights to be on 24-7. We usually like to have some type of schedule with dusk and dawn. So let's say we want our lights to turn on at 8 a.m. and slowly ramp up to reach intensity of 100% at 12 noon. Then remain at 100% and begin to ramp down around 6 p.m. until they completely turn off at 8 p.m. Fortunately for us, Giesman makes this very easy and intuitive. To create our schedule, click on Day Cycle. Here you can create a complete new schedule of lights with different intensities for each channel during the day, or better yet, take one of the two preset schedules that Giesman has created for us and either keep them as they are or use them as a starting point and adjust them to fit our needs. To load the presets, you can click on Default 1 or Default 2. If you're happy with either preset as they are, then just select the preset you like and then click on Transport. If you're like me, the preset is a great starting point, but it does not fit exactly what I'm looking for. In this case, we can just easily change the preset to fit our needs. All we need to do is tap and drag on the different points on the graph and move our channels to higher or lower intensity. We can do this to each of the five different channels. To access the different channels, you just need to click on white, red, and then select the channel you wish to modify. Remember that since we are using the Futura software, the first two channels will control our T5s, and the remaining three channels will control the LED channels. Once you have selected the channel from the drop-down box, you can then just tap on the graph points to move them up or down. If you need to add more points to create a more rounded curve, you can just double tap on the spot and the new dot will appear. Then you can move the spot around to make your adjustments. If you want to delete a point on the graph, all you have to do is double click on the dot itself and it will be immediately removed. You repeat the process for every channel until you have achieved the lighting schedule of your liking. When complete, you can just click on the transport button to send the schedule to the fixture's internal memory for execution. Once the program has been uploaded to the fixture, there's no need to keep a permanent connection with your Mac. The fixture will run the schedule as planned. You only need to connect to the fixture if you wish to modify the lighting schedule. Since the fixture keeps a copy of the schedule in its memory, if you wish to modify the schedule later on, you first need to call the schedule from the fixture into your software. This helps you not have to create your lighting schedules from scratch or modify a preset every single time. To sync your computer or Android schedule with the Aurora One, 
just click on call up data. This will pull the running schedule from the fixture and display it on your computer. Then you can modify or tweak it and then transport it back to the fixture. In addition to a robust and easy to use scheduling interface, the Aurora also is capable of simulating cloud cover as well as lightning. To include these features into your fixture, click on weather. Now you can select how long a cloud cover will last, how many clouds per day you want to program as well as the intensity of each cloud covering. Today we will program the cloud covering to last 20 seconds. Then I will select 12 cloud covers per day so I'm getting at least one per hour and I'm going to set the light intensity to 50% which means that the fixture will dim to one half the channel's intensity during my cloud covering. You can preview your settings by clicking on start cloud. Once you are satisfied with your setting, be sure to check Cloud Simulation to enable it. You can also set up lightning during the day. This feature will cause the lighting fixture to flicker. Once you have set up your cloud and lightning simulation, click on Apply to save the information on the fixture's internal memory. Another great feature of the Aurora is its ability to simulate the faces of the moon. To set the moon lights, click on Moon Cycle button. Here you can set the maximum intensity of the LED lights at full moon, as well as let you select the exact age of the moon on the current cycle for those of you that would like to mimic a particular region of the world. To change the moon intensity, just slide the moon intensity bar left or right. You will see the yellow line on the chart go up and down as you make your adjustments. To select the age of the moon cycle, slide the lunar cycle bar left or right. As you do that, the green vertical line will move left or right to show you the current day of the cycle. Days 0 and 27 will be considered new moon, and day 14 will be considered full moon. If you want to find the age of the moon in your local area, head over to www.moongiant.com and click on today's moon face. Scroll down to the face details section and look for moon age. Before you hit the transport button to save the moon cycle of the fixture, be sure to set your time frame. Since my light schedule is set from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., my moon cycle should be set from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next morning. Now, you can go ahead and click on the transport button to save the information to your fixture's internal memory. We hope this video was helpful in simplifying the Aurora fixture installation. Today, the combination of LEDs and T5s is considered the holy grail of aquarium lighting, and the Giesemann Aurora LED T5 hybrid fixture lives up to every single expectation. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the Giesemann Aurora LED T5 hybrid fixture, including detailed specs and beautiful high-quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at coralview.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.